and welcome back to Jubilee Road. So then, in today's video we are looking at a rather special Hornby locomotive and well obviously you can see what it is in front of the camera. Now in my opinion I believe this is one of the best Hornby uh, steam locomotives well that I have seen. It really is a great model. So we're looking at part of Hornby's one one collection uh, which they have in their Margate uh, facility here at the moment and today we are going to be looking at number 4464 Bitten. Now Bitten has been well a great mainline performer over many years but obviously as you all know it is now out of service currently uh, in storage and awaiting overhaul and the model uh, comes with a double tender which you can see there which is quite unique here in the UK very few locomotives actually used a double tender like this today is not a review like I normally do it it's just sort of a closer look I guess you could say so we can have a quick look at the details and the locomotive and then we're gonna have a short running session on the shunting layout like I normally do so as you can see, this is the box it comes in. It's a really, really nice decorative box, I guess you could say. And it gives you a picture of the locomotive. And if we just turn it around, we get some photo pictures there of the real locomotive, which you can see all across here. A really great locomotive here in the UK. So what we're going to do is uh, have a look at the details on this model, and then we'll go for a run. So let's have a look. So uh, here is the model then, and just just look at this thing. It is definitely one of the best uh, looking steam locomotives that was ever made in the UK. I know that's probably going to start a slight argument here uh, on the video, but I really think it is. And for me to say that, being a massive Great Western fan, that's quite a thing to say. Uh, so yeah, really lovely detail. You can see all the numbers extremely well printed. We got, as you can see there, a lovely detailed cab. Uh, the red wheels really, really do stand out with this narkin blue paintwork that it has. You got the nameplate there already fitted. We got the uh, network, no, not network. It's the uh, overhead wires uh, uh, stickers pin printed there, and we have a little uh, maker's plate. I don't believe it is a maker's plate. I can't quite see what it says on it but uh, I'm sure I could get a magnifying glass and have a look. And there is the famous uh, double tender there. Uh, this first one here carries water and coal and then the second tender dust carries water. Now the only odd thing with this model, I don't know if you have spotted it, if we just come down the front quickly we've got nice shiny sprung buffers. Now if we go to the rear we have nice shiny sprung buffers. But in the middle we have black plastic ones. Slightly odd choice there Hornby. I'm not sure why they've done that but uh, I guess they have their reasons but you can just see how nice this model is. Just come around the front did say you got the sprung buffers, we got some pipe work and couplings fitted and the number there which is as you know 4464 uh, there whistle, chimney all looking nice this model really does stand out so I think what we're going to do now is get this model on the track and see how it performs now I have this model since the beginning of the year and I've not, I've run this once so it'll be uh, still a fairly reasonable uh, representation of how this model would run straight out of the box. So, let's get this on the shunting layout. <laughs> 